making a life worth living and retirement worth having is about having people in our lives that we want to be there. It's about producing for people the results that we promise. It's about being the family friend that we say we are, and it's about showing up for people when they really need the most. In life, we have moments of time when people try to say they're going to help. They're strangers that literally come up to us off the street and say, can I do something for you? But what we don't know is whether that's the Lord in them, moving their hearts, minds, and souls to reach out to help someone, or whether or not they're a plant of someone else who's trying to manipulate, modify, or control what we're trying to do, and the outcomes that we can get the results that we need for our life. That is the hard part about being in the midst of hazing, harassment, and stalking that there's always someone who's willing to manipulate for someone else. I literally was on a day's plan to wait for someone I really deeply love to come to me and talk to me and to receive paperwork from me. And someone approached me and said, couldn't I please help you? And she was so nice and so kind and everything, but the reality was she manipulated me away from my day's plan. Her thought was that if she could just move me somewhere else, if she could pay for a hotel room for a couple of days, and my attitude a couple of days doesn't help me. It doesn't do anything other than put me at greater risk of people who have keys, people who have armed people, and I'm not interested in being in that position. And when we talk like this, we're talking about real life in America. We're talking about how illegal it is for some people to open a door, even though it's not their lawful right to do it, but they use the law to say they can, and that's not right. We have people who are in hotels who are warriors on people's lives and won't allow them the dignity of taking a shower without being worried upon them. These are the literal truths of America. We've seen this on television. We've seen this in news. It is not foolery to be concerned about these cautions. In life, we have moments of time to make all the difference in the world for someone. But when we go too far, when we say too much, when we lie about our purpose and our intent, it makes people rage. It makes people so livid that they can't stop their rage. And that puts us and other people at risk. It's not that the people who are raging are going to lash out. It's just the attack on a person's life, a person's soul, is a vile act before the Lord. And when people do this, they violate federal law as well as international human rights law, but more importantly, they violate the Lord's law. The Lord says, I am Lord of all, and you are not. And that's the truth, that when we're talking about God, people turn it off. They don't want to hear what the Lord has to say about their life because they know they're not living uprightly. They know they're not with the right person. They know they're not doing the right things. They know that they've had a lot of struggles in life because they didn't listen to God saying, go now, go be with that person right now. And that's a problem in the world, that people think they have the right to manipulate, to interfere with, to <clears throat> prevent others from going forward in life without them. When you make the betrayal step, when you make that choice to destroy a person's privacy, a person's individual rights, a person's ability to do things in the world with freedom of movement, you lose all rights in that person's life. It's not rocket science. It's what we teach in self-preservation techniques for women. It's also what we teach in terms of self-defense for men. And literally, we all have to get along in some way or another to make peace in this world. But when people cannot make peace, when people stalk, lie, take, and ruin an opportunity for someone, it means they are not in the Lord's house. And that's something we must really talk about going forward. How do we prove to ourselves and to other people who love us dearly that we are in the Lord's house and everything we're doing, everything we're saying, and literally everything we intend to do, be or become on behalf of the Lord? Now, this has been Blake Ensign of Blaze Communications, raising interesting questions about Christianity, our faith, spirituality, and how we walk our practice in the world.